Welcome back. Now we are looking at train scanning Optimus Prime in his Earth mode. And I will be doing this from vehicle to robot mo mode just because I think it would be easier to see and to do on camera. But as you can see, he is very shiny. A lot of chrome on him. Most notably, he has the very shiny on the front plate, which is a lot shinier than the uh, premium. Uh, Optimus Prime but as you can see I have a lot of difficulty getting this part together because this is very difficult to transform into truck mode so it's not absolutely perfect yet mainly with this uh, grill piece because this is uh, really hard to get these two pieces inside and he has the chrome on the smokestacks, which I wish would have been a little bit longer and a little bit closer to the uh, inside of the cab. The tanks here on the side and down here are not chrome though. And on the back as this uh, back piece here, which uh, was absent on the leader class version which is all chrome and is very not uh, there's not much detail on the inside but you don't really see any robot parts which is really nice gives it a really nice effect and on the bottom you really don't actually see too much uh, robot parts either just as, about as much as the uh, leader class one really just see the parts of the legs on the bottom you actually see parts of the bottom side that you normally see and there are eight wheels but uh, two of them are attached on each set but each one turns so two of them will be turning at the same time and they are plas plastic they're not rubber wheels my only complaint about the paint scheme going on here is that this chrome here is painted blue as stands out very uh, obscurely it just doesn't mix well to mix well with the uh, blue that's here and it's the same on both sides and some added detail on the both sides with this uh, little door on both and this one's a little smaller and one thing that this definitely has a lot better than the uh, premium class one is that the Autobots uh, symbol is painted red even for how small it is so out of earth mode the, out of the earth mode I can definitely recommend it just by the vehicle mode alone because it is very nice looking as small it is uh, the vehicle mode itself is about a deluxe class size toy and it has the uh, added uh, paint schemes of the flames on the sides and blends from kind of orange to yellow and aside from the uh, faded orange to yellow there's not too m many other uh, details on this that are you really can't find on the leader class one but it does it is pretty amazing that they can fit so much detail in, the, in a uh, smaller figure to start the transformation to robot mode, try I'm going to start by just detaching this piece here. and down here so you can flip these off to the side just for now you want to oh no not that part and you want to extend this out this piece here and on the side here then snap it 
it to the side. You want to do that to both sides. Detach this whole section from, from the roof. Fold the legs down. And just go ahead and separate the front part, which is really stiff at the bottom, especially right here. I'll go and unfold that and now fold the windshield pieces around which do not really stay securely in any way. You can start to see the robot head there which uh, is really kind of, I had to detach from the body, turn it around and put it, snap it back into place just so it would stay out of the way which uh, I'll just go ahead and do that now and leave it out of the way for now. So, for the most part, I have Transcanning Optimus Prime Earth Mode in his robot form. And because of this uh, huge back piece here, which is all of this is one piece, it is fairly difficult to get standing up because he is pretty back heavy and all of his junk is on his back side. So, you don't really see too much of his uh, core body here, but see he does have uh, his mask, it's basically what his robot mode ma uh, helmet is, it's just a big mask that covers the front and back. He does have interchangeable hands which uh, pop, out, pop out via ball joints and then you put in these uh, open-handed ones which I more than likely will not do. You can see a ball joint in his uh, hip there and he has the flames coming up his legs there. He has kind of weird looking feet though. But if this is not for the average uh, fan. This is definitely for the more adult orientated uh, collector because uh, this is very, uh, can be potentially very frustrating to transform. And these, I have not tried to do it yet, but these guns do pop up in uh, with a little handle. You can pop these off and uh, put them in his hand. But he is very nice looking, uh, except for these uh, shell pieces here, and these pieces that are hanging off. He is very reminiscent of the of his uh, movie counterpart. The only Transformer I've ever encountered that was fun and really difficult at the same time. While other ones can be just difficult, but not very fun at all, where you don't le really look forward to it. But this one, I really like him. I recommend him hardly. The only things are about this robot mode that are uh, kind of a drawback is because of these huge pieces on the back. You can't you get it, so much limited uh, posability because his arms are pretty much encased in this shell. And that concludes my uh, review of this figure. Uh, overall, I'm giving this a nine out of ten. The only Overall for this figure, 9 out of 10, just because I would have liked for this whole toy just be a little bit bigger, but just because of the size, it really does make it a little bit difficult. If it was bigger, it would have been not as difficult, but still, it is really fun. I fully recommend them. Until next time, thank you for watching.